The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Why are you a fan of the liquid nose job? I love liquid nose jobs because they're easy and they're a quick fix for so many patients. We like to use hyaluronic acid, which is a naturally occurring enzyme that we all have in our bodies. I like it because you can place it in pinpoint areas across the nose and really tailor it to the patient's need. It's quick, it's fast. And the other thing, most people think a liquid nose job only lasts a few months, the way Botox or Dysport may. It doesn't. It lasts a long time. I see patients three to five years later who had nose filler and it's still there. So it's a quick and easy way. It can last a long time and it's much more predictable than threads will ever be in the nose. Dr. Gar, I understand you have a patient that you yes. have for us today, patient Karen. She's going to um, right now. All right. There she is. Hi, Karen. Hi, how are you? Welcome. So Karen, tell us, what are you hoping to change with your nose? Yeah, so when you look at my front profile, you can definitely tell that it isn't symmetrical. My nose isn't. And so actually the left side of my nose has a bone that sticks out. And apart from that, I also have a dorsal hump that you can tell by looking at my side profiles. So I'm really excited about getting this procedure done. I've been wanting it for around seven years now. And I know that Dr. Dugar is going to do a fantastic hmm. job. So basically, you want to straighten your nose, right? Yep. And that it's a great application using fillers. By building up each side in the place where you need it, you can create a straight nose. Doc, take it away. Let's start the procedure and walk us through with what you're doing. So I always like to be really thorough with the cleaning. We usually use a combination of alcohol followed by betadine, which kills all the bacteria on the nose, then alcohol again. So we've cleaned our nose super thoroughly. And now we're going to start doing a little bit of an injection with the hyaluronic acid that we prepared for her. I'm going to start above the dorsum because I want to really get the dorsal bridge aligned with the hump that she has. After we get that height aligned, then we'll be able to really focus on the straightening component of her nose. So what we're trying to do here is really get the dorsum aligned as quickly as we can with just a little bit of this filler. And then we're gonna go after the actual crookedness that she's appearing and feeling that she has by injecting below the dorsal hump. And that's where we're able to smoothen out and spread the filler in a really natural way that will make it look like it's a straighter version of her same nose without having to do any major surgeries. The key with the injectables is to really micro place them. You don't wanna overdo the filler in any singular region. And so I'm a really big proponent of first time patients, if you've never had this done and you're watching this, to always consider doing less than more. Come back and your doctor will be happy to touch it up for you versus them doing too much the first time and you feeling that you did too much by accident. Your injection has anesthetic in it as well. Did you do any pre-numbing for Karen before you started? Great question. So the anesthesia in the injection is a beautiful thing. A lot of these fillers will come preloaded with the lidocaine. So as you do the injection, it starts to numb them topically. So it makes it much more comfortable. How are you feeling, Karen? Great. Okay, good. Dr. Bautry, you're smiling. I can tell you've seen this a lot in your practice as well with other doctors. And, and I'm smiling because I love the technique that you're just gradually building up to camouflage that bump that bothers her so much and then straightening it subsequently just to add more balance. So really satisfying, nice nice to watch. And Dr. Dugar, in this case, you're working on the bridge, you're straightening Karen's nose, but with injectables, you can also rotate the tip to a certain degree, uh, get some rotation, some elevation. Yeah, I love lifting the tip of the nose, just like we do with plumping grafts in surgery, a little filler at the base of the nose and then a little bit in the super tip area just to give it a little bit of an oomph. It's cool and fun. It's not obviously permanent, but it gives them a little bit of that oomph that they like in their nose and they look at their nose from the side profile. If someone's considering surgery, would you recommend this as a way for them to get a preview of what their results I, might be? I absolutely love recommending this as a preview to patients. If they're not sure about surgery, but they're thinking about it, I think this is an amazing way for them to get a test preview without committing fully to a nose job at this point, if they're just not sure yet. 